Receiving a 1099-C, which is the cancellation of debt form from the IRS, means a creditor has forgiven or cancelled a debt you owe, and you might have to report that amount as income on your federal tax return. Here's what you should do if you receive this form. Verify the amount. The first step is to ensure the amount listed on the 1099-C is accurate. If there's a discrepancy, or if you believe you don't owe the debt, contact the creditor immediately. Understand the implications. Generally, cancelled debt is considered taxable income. However, there are exceptions. For instance, if the debt was discharged in bankruptcy, or if you were insolvent. Your total debt exceeded your total assets. Immediately before the debt was cancelled, you might not owe taxes on that amount. There are other exclusions, such as certain student loans, farm debts, and more. Complete Form 982 If you qualify for an exclusion, like bankruptcy or insolvency, you should complete Form 982, Reduction of Tax Attributes Due to Discharge of Indebtedness, and attach it to your federal tax return. This form helps you determine the amount of cancelled debt you can exclude from income. Report on your tax return. If the cancelled debt is taxable and you don't qualify for any exclusions, you must report the amount from Form 1099-C on your tax return. For individual taxpayers, it's typically reported as other income. Reduce tax attributes. If you exclude cancelled debt from income under one of the exclusions, but you have to reduce certain tax attributes, like specific credits or the basis of assets. Form 982 will guide you through this process. Seek professional help. The rules surrounding Form 1099-C and cancelled debt can be complex. It's advisable to consult with a tax professional or accountant who can provide guidance tailored to your situation. Store the document safely. As with all tax documents, keep a copy of the 1099-C and any related paperwork in your records for at least three years. Receiving a 1099-C might initially seem like a relief since it means you no longer owe a particular debt. However, it's essential to understand the potential tax implications and handle the documentation correctly to prevent issues with the IRS. Remember, insolvency laws and procedures can vary widely by country, state, or territory. It's essential to familiarize yourself with the rules and regulations specific to your jurisdiction and seek expert advice when considering insolvency. Join us as we explore, educate, and take on the world of debt settlement together. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you never miss out on our valuable content. Here's to taking the first step towards your financial freedom, right here, right now, with us.